When it comes to 2019, we all know that the current expansion is going to be the longest expansion ever by May or June of uh, 2019. So the question is to what extent we should start talking about a recession. This is a very old cycle. Now, I know that the yield curve, namely the difference between uh, short-term and long-term interest rates is now close to inversion, basically a situation in which short-term rates are higher than long-term rates, and this is always a signal of a recession. However, we believe that 2019 will not be a recessionary year. We are going to slow down, but we're not going to see a recession. The main reason is that central bankers will not repeat past mistakes. Every economic recession over the past 50 years was helped, if not caused, by a monetary policy error in which central bankers raised interest rates way too quickly. The signals that we are getting from the Fed in the US and from the Bank of Canada, we are not going to rush it. We are not going to raise interest rates very quickly, and that's exactly what we are seeing. We're seeing a situation in which the Fed will be moving very, very slowly in 2019, if at all, and even the Bank of Canada maybe once, maximum twice, and that will be the end of it. So we see a very muted interest rate cycle this time around. This has major implications for the bond market and, of course, the stock market. We believe that the bond market will actually outperform expectations because rates will not be rising as quickly as expected. As well, I see some pockets, uh, as far as the stock market uh, is concerned, that actually will surprise on the upside. I do believe that the energy sector in Canada might surprise on the upside. Valuations are extremely, extremely attractive, and those spreads are narrowing, and we see actually some improvement in oil prices globally. But overall, the energy sector is actually cheap. One of the reasons why we are not totally depressed when it comes to 2019 is the fact that we reached some sort of agreement with uh, the U.S. on NAFTA too. This is a positive for business investment. We also see the consumer actually showing some lives in 2019. So we have the consumer and we have business investment actually leading to a situation in which overall economic growth will be 1.8, 1.9. This actually can improve profitability down the road. And one of the reasons why we expect 2019 to be an okay year as far as the stock market is concerned is the fact that corporate earnings will actually will surprise on the upside. Overall, I think that the stock market in Canada will not outperform what we're seeing in the US. We see a situation in which the market is trying to figure out and, pri and find the price. We are not there yet. And I believe that the fact that interest rates will not be rising as quickly as the market is expecting will be a net positive for the market. It will not be a great year for the stock market, but it will not be a disaster year.